Hi, I'm Jason Matthews, owner of Matthews Painting Company near Warsaw, Indiana. We continue our tutorial videos that we show all of our new employees that we train how to be professional painters. Today we're going to discuss how we move furniture. We're here in our shop so I can't show you firsthand how we would remove a bunch of furniture, but we're going to move this table. One thing we don't do is we don't just go and start sliding furniture across a floor. One, we're going to scratch the customer's floor. We never do that. If it's a light piece of furniture, very light, and you and the other painter agree that it's something you can pick up very easily, we can move furniture that way. If it's heavy furniture, we always move it on top of these. They're called moving men or furniture sliders, and I'm going to explain the difference between these. Since we're on a hard floor here, there's two different types of sliders. And we have different styles, but nonetheless, if the camera can get a little close here, the black side always goes up. That's the part that's actually the furniture is going to sit on. The bottom part goes down. Now they're different, aren't they? This has a felt on it, so the felt bottoms is what you use on a linoleum, a wood, or a laminate floor, or even tile. The hard plastic here is what you would use on carpet. I'm going to show you an example of each of those. Again, the black side is up. If you use the hard plastic one on the floor like this, that's laminate, tile, hardwood, a pebble can get pushed under there or this plastic can scratch the floor. That's why you use the felt. The felt is flat across in comparison to this that comes up like a frisbee. And so if this ran into a little pebble or something, it would just push it ahead of itself, not getting trapped under here and scratching the floor. And then we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Now if this was really heavy, we would have one of our other painters lifting up the furniture. But we do one leg at a time here. Slide that under each leg. This happens to have four legs. And once it's under there, the camera can step back and you'll just see that we can slide that right across the floor. That is on felt. Keep in mind those are the felt furniture movers or sliders only to be used on hard floor. Again, tile, laminate, wood floor, linoleum. It moves around very easily. I'm going to go ahead and move this up to the carpet to be able to show you how we switch to our other moving pads or moving men. So if we're up on carpet, it's a little different. I'm going to go ahead for the sake of getting this video a little shorter. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over onto the carpet because it is a lighter piece of furniture. Now if that was on the carpet, we use the hard bottom moving men or furniture sliders and those slide on carpet a lot easier. So it's the same principle. We're just going to go underneath like so. Now we didn't talk about this, but do you see how this is rounded on one end? That works really good if we're going to be pushing the table or the couch in this direction. It doesn't have to go on that way, but if you're struggling a little bit moving the furniture, once you have these pads on there, you could try to change that direction. If you can just kind of think about a sled or a ski, it's rounded around the top, and then we can go in that direction. And so now we're ready to push this into place wherever it needs to go. And again, we were more worried about scratching the floor moving furniture over on the linoleum. Here, this takes pressure off of the legs. You know, sometimes you have an antique piece of furniture. Sometimes you have a piano leg that's very thin. At times, beds have another middle rail down the middle of the bed. We even get the moving sliders under there. And so this prevents furniture from breaking the legs of furniture. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up and like us on YouTube, or you can contact us at matthewspainting.com.